here are eight reasons to learn flutter the dart side of flutter in this episode i'm going to tell you the eight great features of flutter which will going to convince you to learn flutter more easily and quickly but before moving forward let me tell you that i will go live every week or two week on youtube or linkedin and i will inform a day before about this live session so if you want to catch up with me and chit chat with me live on the sessions so just go to twitter facebook linkedin and follow me there so that you will get information and let's get back to the flutter first reason what will be the easiest reason to learn flutter yeah because flutter is super easy and this is because the dart is very easy language it's just like a python or javascript so easy but again let me clear one thing that dart is a programming language used in flutter and flutter is a software toolkit to build mobile applications so if i'm talking about the dart i'm talking about the flutter if i'm talking about the flutter i'm talking about the dart so two are same actually so it is so easy that if you start learning the flutter you can create a simple app within a week and that's the power of easiness and that is because of the plenty of resources uh, you can found on online so the super two uh, resource are obviously the flutter and dart documentation and the official youtube channel of flutter so if i go here you can see this is a dart website and the documentation are also there and here you can see it just looks like python so list is the same as in the python it's like a dictionary then a tuple and somewhat uh, there are similarities with javascript also and then comes the flutter official youtube channel and with this you can have a uh, information about what's new in the flutter and some conferences talks and various things so these resources are very very good but let me tell you one more great reason which is flutter is a cross platform what that mean so before flutter the react native backed by facebook xamarin which is a part of microsoft and angular js which is obviously google's and uh, these three basically create a cross platform uh, applications cross platform means if you create application in one code base you can export it on two different platforms like android and ios so same thing with the flutter if you write your application once you can export them in android and ios so one code base two different platform that's a great great thing of flutter but the next reason is again a very important thing because the performance matter flutter is a performance thing why because if you compare flutter with the react native react native you have javascript and to compile the javascript into the native android or native ios code base there is a javascript bridge and that javascript bridge is making react native slower than flutter because flutter doesn't have any kind of bridge flutter is written in dart and the dart code is directly going to convert to native android or native ios so that's why it is faster but you can achieve great great performance by optimization so if you optimize your flutter application you can go near to again near to the native performance and you can then have frequent ui changes that will makes your application more powerful even written in flutter so that's great thing but you will say sarthak i'm not convinced tell me something important tell me something magical why i need to learn flutter so here comes the magical thing and which is hot reload yay so if you're familiar with the javascript frameworks like react vue angular js as soon as you make changes and save the file that changes reflects on the front end on the design part similar to uh, similar to these things flutter has introduced this hot reload this means there is no run of gradle build 
so what's happening before if you have any experience in building mobile application if you want to make changes like if you want to give a margin then you will give the margin on the on the code then you need to build it and that build takes 30 to 40 seconds to reflect the changes but with the hot reload on flutter it will be instant instant means as soon as you save the file the changes will reflect on your application and because of that the development time reduced by 30 or 40 percent so let let me demonstrate this because this is the most most sellable point of flutter so let me explain this with this so here is the simple flutter application and here is this uh, uh, application looks like so if i click here it increase this uh, number so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like this so what if i want to increase by two or let's say by five so here's the uh, counter increase part so i will say counter is equal to counter plus five so notice here notice here at the bottom here i can click here to make it hot reload or i can just save it and as soon as i save you can see here it says reloading and now state is preserved and now if i click on add you can see now it's increasing by five there is no rebuilding there is no gradle build so this is the awesome thing out of the box no no one is going to give this kind of system in a mobile application development and that's the sellable point of flutter so that's good thumbs up and the next reason is designing power so as the flutter is a cross platform you can build android and ios application with one code base you must have a designing part because both platform has a different designing system but flutter take care of these things flutter has material designing toolkit for android and cupertino widgets for ios and to explain this i will go here and you can see the list in android looks like this but in ios it will be a like a scrolling kind of list you can have the same kind of looks or uh, like uh, ui system by using this cupertino on ios and material design for your android so in ios you have lots and lots of cupertino widgets which is specifically designed for ios so you can use these things and flutter will take care of these things but the most important point is that you can check which platform you are going to export and then it will check the ios uh, it, or it will check the android and accordingly it will show the designing part like uh, the pickers or the list kind of things <laughs> so this is again the designing power you have so so much of designing power that you are going to love the flutter next comes is open source package yeah because everything is open source and you can create your own package you can use others package and there is no restriction even flutter team also of announcers also have actually official packages you can use like if you want to have a location then there is an official flutter team package which you can use it if you have if you want to have a, a date picker you can go and have a package so you don't have to waste time in just writing these things on your own so that's the community power actually extensive collection of open source package and then you are going to love these things like packages and flutter obviously next comes is everything is widget so if you are familiar with html in html to create a bold text you will have bold tag for bigger text h1 tag for section aside section lots of things are there and every html tag can be inserted inside the the html tag so uh, tag inside tag same thing with the flutter but here flutter has widgets widgets are the key point of the flutter everything is a widget wrap widget can be wrapped inside another widget widget has its own designing system margin color layout font etc etc things and you can create your own widget and that's the most powerful thing you can create your own widget in in your custom widget you can have multiple native widgets given by the flutter so again a very easiness 
comes with a flutter but next point last but not the least is web and desktop development so because you are learning flutter you are learning dart it will be cool if you can use the same knowledge to create a web and the desktop applications similar to uh, similar to the ios or android so and yes flutter community is going so big that they have announced the hummingbird uh, toolkit to create the web and desktop application just like you have a flutter for android and ios so one code base or one technology knowledge will give you the power for four things android ios web and desktop and that's the coolest thing of the flutter so i love flutter because the, of the hot reload the designing power for the hummingbird uh, desktop and web applications even who forgot the performance side <laughs> so that's the important point and some says the flutter is not so mature uh, if you see the videos on youtube lots of things are saying that flutter is not mature but i can say now that it's now time to say flutter is matured you can build bigger applications with flutter so these are the eight important things and powerful things to make you a flutter developer or ignite you to become a flutter developer so i hope you have enjoyed these uh, eight reasons and if you want to learn flutter yes we are going to start the flutter course on here bitfilms channel and please go and subscribe to this channel if you have not al already subscribed follow me on other platforms so you so that you can catch me on a live session and keep learning keep watching and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye